dear students in the last session you have studied nutrient cycle so you have studied the phosphorus cycle as an example for the sedimentary cycle so nutrient cycles are also known as bio geochemical cycles so these nutrients you know that why is it called a cycle because they travel between the biotic and abiotic components in a cyclic manner so hence called as bio geochemical cycle so today in this session you will be studying about carbon cycle so carbon cycle is an example for gaseous cycle it is an example for gaseous cycle so why because the carbon cycle it's a reservoir coal is reservoir coal it is atmosphere hence it is an example for gaseous cycle and you all know that the gaseous cycle are called as perfect cycle so during the time of a fixation whatever the amount of the nutrients is being taken up by the biotic components of an ecosystem almost the equal amounts of the nutrients will be released during the time of recycling so hence the gaseous cycle are also called as the perfect cycle whereas sedimentary cycle so they are called as imperfect cycle so why the carbon travels in cyclic manner the organic compounds they are made up of carbon which is a constituent of the protoplasm so living organisms they require carbon so this carbon is present in the atmosphere as a carbon dioxide reservoir pool for the carbon cycle is atmosphere and is found in the form of carbon dioxide as well as even it is found in the form of dissolved carbon dioxide as well as bicarbonates in the rocks carbonic acid yes so we could find the reservoir pool for the carbon cycle from where the living organisms can utilize carbon it is the atmosphere so now we will study how does the carbon cycle exist in an ecosystem so in the atmosphere carbon is found in the form of carbon dioxide and one more thing around 49% of the dry weight 49% of the dry weight of all living organism is made up of carbon next to the water so first step in the carbon cycle it is fixation from movement of nutrients from reservoir pool to the exchange pool from reservoir pool so it is being utilized by the uh, biotic components so carbon dioxide is being taken up by the living organisms that is green plants green plants take in carbon dioxide fixation so annually around 4 into 10 to the power of 13 kg of carbon dioxide is fixed in photosynthesis annually how much it is been fixed it is 4 into 
10 to the power of 13 kg of the carbon dioxide is being fixed by green plants in photosynthesis annually. So now the body of the green plants has carbon dioxide. Okay, in the form of plant biomass, green plants build carbon dioxide into organic compounds. How? By the process of photosynthesis. So, when the plants undergo photosynthesis, prepare the food, there occurs a food chain. So, plants are being eaten up by the herbivores. So now the carbon present in the green plants in the form of plant biomass so now enters into the animals. It travels into the animals. So from plants the carbon travels moves to the animals. Now recycling step. So plants have, animals have the carbon within the body. Now, which are the steps by which again carbon dioxide will be recycled back, released back to the reservoir pool. Plants and animals by the process of respiration and the death and decay, they release back carbon dioxide. Animals during the time of respiration they take carbon oxygen and give rise to carbon dioxide. As well as, as well as when plants and animals die, detritus is being converted. What is detritus made up of? Carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide, uh, det what is detritus made up of? Organic matter. So that organic matter is converted into carbon dioxide water as well as inorganic substances that is nutrients or minerals. So when green plants they die after the death decay, decomposition releases carbon dioxide and when the animals they die by the decomposition also releases carbon dioxide. Plants they convert plant material into animal material. So when the animals and the plants they die, the detritus, the dead remains, escapes oxidation. They are buried into the deeper layers, undergo the process of fossilization. Undergo the process of fossilization. By the process of fossilization, we could find there is a formation of coal, petroleum, natural gas is being formed. Yes? So, by the combustion, by the burning of these coal, natural gas and petroleum releases carbon dioxide. So once again, fixation, first step, how we, how are the biotic components taking carbon dioxide? It is by photosynthesis. This is first step, fixation. So now the plants, their body is having the carbon in the form of organic compounds, plant biomass. Okay, so now occurs a food chain. Yes? So green plants are eaten by the animals. So now second step we could find. So the, from the plants it moves to the animals. Plants convert plant material into animal material. So now the body of animals also has carbon. So recycling step. By the Death and decay and respiration of both plants as well as animals releases carbon dioxide. 
by respiration and decomposition releases carbon dioxide when detritus escapes the ox uh, process of uh, decomposition there is unavailability of oxygen under this fossilization and there will be formation of the coal petroleum natural gas and by the conversion by the conversion of the what this it releases the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so you could find a carbon travels from biotic components from between biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem and you all know that carbon is the one of the green house gas it attracts the heat which is being emitted as well as not only by this like a combustion or it might be by the process of decomposition if the carbon is being released but due to the human activities large amount of the carbon it is being emitted carbon dioxide it is being emitted so due to the increase in the amount of carbon dioxide so we could find the green it is a greenhouse gas that leads to the global warming increase in the average temperature of the earth surface yes so you could find that by the process of photosynthesis annually how much is the carbon dioxide fixed by the uh, green plants it is 4 into 10 to the power of 13 kg annually it is being fixed so carbon cycle is called as perfect cycle whatever the amount of carbon will be utilized almost the equal amount of the carbon will be released back to the reservoir pool so in you have studied a uh, example for sedimentary cycle so that is that is phosphorus cycle it is a imperfect cycle and an example for the gaseous cycle it is the carbon cycle which is a perfect in the next part of the chapter that is the last topic ecosystem services what is that ecosystem services we have heard social service what is that ecosystem services the benefits the help which we get the products available from the ecosystem processes the products the products available from ecosystem processes are called as ecosystem services whatever the help whatever the benefits which we get from the ecosystem processes it is called as ecosystem services so the products the benefits the help so which we get so that we call it as ecosystem services see here we the human beings are so selfish that we only take in the benefits but we are not concerned 
with conservation protecting of these nature natural resources we only depend upon nature for the benefits which it provides the ecosystem which it provides some of the products are ecosystem services so we will study one by one purification of purify for example healthy forest forest is an example for ecosystem so healthy forest is involved in purify air and water so i and you are not involved in purifying the air and water it is the forest which is being involved so in our home in a small scale we might purify the water and then drink for hygienic purpose so now in this condition to maintain hygiene is more important so what we do we purify or we boil the water and then drink the water but naturally yes we could find it is the forest which is even involved in purifying of the water the air if more we the human beings are involved in more and more addition in the yes so you have studied now the carbon cycle by conversion of petroleum natural gas so as well as by the human activities vehicular exhaust they release out carbon but it is the healthy forest they take in carbon dioxide so maintains the balance so it purifies air and water mitigate means to control drought and flood if a forest cover if a plant cover is present over the soil surface that if a plant cover or a forest if it would be present if it, it will be present so then if during heavy rains floods so that time it will act as a check it will act as a barrier and it will stop the running water and prevents soil erosion if plant will be there it is involved in controlling hydrological cycle water cycle and it would not cause the drought to occur baragala aglardanga tade gattatte yavdu it is the forest okay so it will control the drought as well as the for that is the floods they are involved ecosystems is involved in cycling of nutrients how does the nutrient cycle already you have studied phosphorus as well as carbon cycle see here where are nutrients present in organic substances minerals it is in the soil so where is the plant roots present it is in the soil so plants take in the nutrients from the soil they are being utilized yes it is present within the plant biomass they produce yeah, that plant material is been eaten up by the animals food chain occur so now we could find when plants and animals they die the detritus organic matter will be broken down and again organic matter will be converted into inorganic release of nutrients so a healthy forest is involved in cycling of nutrients generate fertile soil okay it is by the ecosystem functions we could find fertile soil is being generated provide wildlife habitat so when there is a plant cover plants are present then for the food the uh, we, we can find the animals will be start visiting okay so there are also food chains so healthy forest will provide then habitat a dwelling place for the wild life okay and it maintains biodiversity biodiversity varieties of living organisms okay so found at a particular place and interaction among these organisms so it will be maintain an ecological balance so of herbivores get food from the plants herbivores are again eaten eaten up by the primary carnivores primary carnivores are eaten eaten by the secondary so likewise a food chain occurs 
as well as well, many interactions of the food chains forms of food web and it maintains ecosystem balance so maintains biodiversity pollination of crops in the first in that uh, unit uh, six you will study about in sexual reproduction in flowering plants you will come across pollination pollination is transfer of the pollen grains from anther to the stigma how it is by carried out by various way agents there are different agents involved okay it might be water or by the wind or it might be by the organisms like the insects okay bat we could find so these insects as well as bat or it might be the water they are the components of the ecosystem biotic as well as abiotic components so they are they bring about pollination okay we i we might only artificially dust the pollen grains if we are interested in research we could do it in our lab yes but whereas naturally who is involved in this pollination who brings about pollination process of pollination it is the biotic as well as abiotic components of ecosystem water agar bodu so water wind agar bodu insects agar bodu birds agar bodu okay so they bring about pollination provide storage site for carbon what is a reservoir pool for carbon it is the atmosphere even carbon is found in the water hydrosphere even present as a carbonate in the rocks yes as well as the shells bones steel it is all being made so these ecosystem provide a storage site for carbon not only this but also it provides yes aesthetic value it increases our aesthetic value cultural spiritual values okay mining the value will be increased within the humans when we see outside when we go yes for an outing for a wildlife sanctuaries or a garden or any such things or even simple okay so when we see our nature we start admiring aesthetic values we start admiring the nature yes cultural values it increases it increases the important it tells how important is the nature how how important are the natural resources like human being have the yes right to live on the earth likewise similarly other living organisms also have a right to live on the earth surface it tells about a spiritual value so these are some of the ecosystem services the benefits which we get okay so if we are uh, yes our providing some price tag to this if we add some cost to this extra go do what we could happen what might be the amount for all this it was being calculated by robert constanza robert con stanza and his colleagues they have estimated the price tag for all these ecosystem services and it would it turned out to be According to them, Robert Constanza and his colleague, thirty-three U.S. dollar trillion, thirty-three trillion U.S. dollar. Yes, which is almost the double of gross national products, whatever we use day to day. Yes, all to 
together ella products nal ella seyirsidra adre eshtu agutte it is around 18 trillion us dollar 18 trillion us dollar is almost the double but we are not paying a single pay for these ecosystem services we are utilizing freely but we are not at all involved in conservation yes of the nature yes biodiversity if we go to buy a cylinder of oxygen then we will come to know what is the value of that but it's our duty to conserve the nature natural resources among all this he proper constanza gave is to 33 us uh, 33 trillion us dollar adu 50% yavudu hogutte it is the soil formation as well as uh, for maintaining of the soil fertility fertility yes it will go for maintaining of soil fertility it is generating the fertile soil okay so this is about to the ecosystem services the products which we obtain from the ecosystem processes is called as ecosystem services so this completes the chapter ecosystem and ecosystem chapter carries six marks for your examination one mark question and five mark or sometimes it might be asked the two three mark question and important uh, uh, topics from this chapter which you might expect for the examination it might be like the productivity what is productivity types of productivity explain the steps involved in decomposition ecological succession ecological pyramids yes and or it might be the ecological succession is important yes every year you can find ecological succession one question fix from the ecological succession or nutrient cycle carbon cycle or the phosphorus cycle or what are the ecosystem services it might be asked thank you